Hey, what's up everyone? So today's gonna be a little bit different video. I've had this project that I've been working on for a little bit and I just wanted to show some progress on it. So the project is creating a custom digital dashboard for my car. What I was thinking of was hooking up a Raspberry Pi as basically like a mini small computer to the Nissan Consult port uh, on the 240 and then having that read all of the data from the ECU, so like RPM, speed, coolant temperature, stuff like that, and then displaying it on a little display that's sitting back where the dash is. And this will just give me way better control over like what I can see on the actual dashboard, and then it will basically let me be able to make it look however I want. Um, so the other, uh, yesterday I finally got it hooked up with the car and reading actual data to my computer. Uh, and my friend Elliot helped me out with that. So I wanted to show the progress on that. So as we can see here, this is uh, the current dashboard. It's kind of just the test, test dashboard right now, but you can see it's reading RPM here, mile per hour, which is zero, coolant temperature. Um, and you can see the RPM meter here as well. So I'll kind of show you both the gauges at once. And you can kind of see how the digital gauge is actually a little bit quicker than the physical gauge. Um, and so this allows me to do some pretty cool things. Um, it allows me to kind of lay out the dashboard exactly how I want. And I'm going to fit a little touch screen here. Um, so it allows me to lay out the dashboard exactly how I want. As you can see, I have very accurate data as well. Um, so I can get kind of like the RPMs to the exact... Uh, exact kind of like measurement that I want um, and kind of allows me to design a dashboard to be however I want. Um, so you can see here it's hooked up to USB right now and uh, it's like this USB to serial port reader. And then that goes all the way down here to the console uh, connector. So that console connector is reading everything from the ECU and uh, it's taken a little bit of uh, trouble to figure out how we can get I'm using uh, Node.js and React and stuff like that to actually read from the ECU. Um, so all this code is up on GitHub. I'll probably write up a little uh, walkthrough on how to make your own in the future if you want as well. Uh, and when I get this dash completely done with the design all done how I want it, it's kind of like mocked up, just uh, it doesn't look great right now, but it works. Um, I'll have it all online for everyone to access. So. Just wanted to show a little bit of progress with that. I hope that's uh, something you guys are excited about. Uh, it's something that I'm pretty excited about. It's pretty cool having my computer reading stuff from my car. Um, later I can do things like read uh, check engine code, check engine light codes, and clear them and stuff right on the actual little screen, uh, my dash, and so there's a lot of cool things we can end up doing with it. Another cool thing with this project also is that it's gonna be running on a web server on the Raspberry Pi. So what that will allow me to do is basically, I'll have the screen here that's connected to the Raspberry Pi, but then I can connect my phone to the Wi-Fi network that the Raspberry Pi will make and have like a different gauge here, and then I could even have my iPad connected to it here. And so I could have multiple gauges all reading from the car at once, uh, and they would be wireless gauges. So this could be like wherever I wanted it and showing speed or RPM and things like that. That's a little update to the project. Just wanted to show you guys what I've been up to recently. I'll have some more videos out uh, every Sunday. So if you like this, go ahead and like and subscribe. And uh, I'll see you all later. Thanks.